Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought it would be fun to do another homeschool chat and I thought I would share with you my favorite homeschool curriculum. So for those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Janelle Knutson. I make homeschool videos right here on my YouTube channel. I also blog about all things homeschooling over at JanelleKnutson.com. I've been homeschooling for 13 years, getting ready to start my 14th year of homeschooling. Already graduated my oldest from high school and she is now in college. And during all those 13 years, I have used a lot of different curriculum. Now, there has been a lot of curriculum that we've enjoyed using, that we've liked, but there are a few that have stood out as our absolute favorite, and so I thought I'd share those with you today. So for math, our absolute favorite math is one that I actually used the very first year of homeschooling with my oldest child and I used all the way through calculus and I continue to use it with my other kids and that is Math You See. Absolutely love Math You See. I have dabbled every now and then in some other curriculum, other math curriculum. I always end up setting it aside and coming back to Math You See. I think that's because it's easy for me to understand and to teach. It's easy for my kids to understand. And um, if you're enjoying something, why change it? You know, if it's working, don't change it. So we've really enjoyed math. You see, that's my absolute favorite math curriculum. Now for science, I have used a ton of different science curriculum in the elementary years. And all of the curriculum we've enjoyed. There's been nothing that I've absolutely hated, but there is one science curriculum that stands out above all the rest that I've I absolutely love and I will keep coming back to time and time again. And that is Science in the Beginning by Dr. J.L. Weil. I actually did a video review of this um, textbook, the science textbook. So I will try to remember to link that down below in the description and hopefully at the end of this video as well if you want to check out that review. But I just love science in the beginning. Now we don't use it every year, but I tell you in the elementary years, if you just spend those early years of elementary, letting your kids explore the world around them, getting books from the library about science, and the only curriculum you use maybe in fourth or fifth grade is science in the beginning, your kids will be ready for middle school science and then high school science. I mean, it is just a phenomenal program. It covers a lot, a lot of detail, but great for, for um, all elementary ages. So you can do it with your older kids, bring your little ones along as well. Absolute favorite science curriculum for elementary science in the beginning. Now he has um, other science books in that series. I have not used them. I've only used science in the beginning. So I can't tell you about the other ones, but absolutely love science in the beginning. Um, for middle school and high school, my all-time favorite science curriculum comes from Apologia. And so I know that a lot of you probably use Apologia, you're familiar with it. Absolutely love Apologia for middle school and high school science curriculum. All right, let's see, we've talked about math, we talked about science. Okay, let's jump to um, English. English covers a lot of different areas. So for reading and spelling, for teaching reading and teaching spelling, I love Spell to Write and Read. I have done videos on Spell to Write and Read. I've done blog posts on Spell to Write and Read. So I will just refer you to those. Go check those out if you want to know more about Spell to Write and Read, but absolutely love Spell to Write and Read for teaching spelling and teaching reading to my kids. Now for grammar, again, I've tried a lot of grammar curriculum. Some of it, you know, has been good, some of it not so good, but there has been one that not only I enjoyed, but my kids absolutely loved. And that is Fix-It Grammar from IEW, which stands for the Institute for Excellence in Writing. Absolutely loved Fix-It Grammar. If you're not familiar with Fix-It Grammar, go check it out. It is so much fun. It takes stories, you guys, and your kids just basically are rewriting the stories, fixing errors, learning about different parts of, um, grammar as they're fixing the story and at the end of the year they have rewritten an entire story and it is just so great to be able to read through that and um, really great stories too so we the kids love fix a grammar i love fix a grammar and so that's our number one favorite grammar program we don't use it every year it is very teacher intensive so i kind of have to choose which year i'm going to use it and really know that i'm going to have to dedicate some time to that it would actually actually be good, now that I'm thinking about it, it would be great in a co-op setting. Hmm, 
I'm gonna have to think about that. It would be really good to use in a co-op setting as well. So go ahead and check out the Fix It Grammar um, program from IEW. Um, for writing, my number one favorite writing program is Institute for Excellence in Writing. They've got a lot of great resources for teaching writing. It is very teacher intensive though, and so we do not use it every year because I just don't have the time to do a whole lot of teacher intensive writing programs, but that really is our all-time favorite. My kids who are dreading writing, when we use that program, it really they got excited about writing and it became easier for them. Highly recommend it. It's a great, great writing curriculum. Now for literature, you guys, I hate to tell you it, I don't have a favorite for literature. I've tried different literature programs and I just haven't found anything that I absolutely love. I mean, they were all okay and they got the job done, but I have not found anything that I love. So if you have a favorite literature program, would you leave a comment down below and tell me what it is so I can go check it out? Because I'm still looking for that favorite literature program. And actually while you're at it, leaving a comment about your favorite literature program, let me know what other curriculum is your favorite for different subjects because these are my favorites, but I would love just to have just a long list in the comments of favorite curriculums so that if other moms are watching this video, they can um, have a lot of great resources to go check out. So that would be awesome. Leave a comment, share your favorite resources, your favorite curriculum as well. All right, I think, what do we have left? Did I cover everything? Oh, history. I didn't cover history. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay. My absolute favorite history curriculum of all time is the mystery of history. I love the mystery of history. My kids loved the mystery of history. It was their favorite history curriculum by far. And there are so many supplemental resources, coloring pages and notebook pages and um, folder books. I think that's what they're called, right? Where you take those file folders and you have all the little flaps in them. So many different supplemental resources to do with it, to make it fun for your child, no matter wh whichever way they learn. And so my kids love the mystery of history. I love the mystery of history. It was a fabulous program. My oldest will be using it again next year. Um, so she's excited about that because she has just been learning a lot from the mystery of history. So um, I think I'll share two more history curriculums that we like as well. With my older daughter, we used Tapestry of Grace. Oh my goodness, phenomenal program. She learned so much. And the thing I liked about Tapestry of Grace is that it really incorporates a lot of other subjects as well. So it's not just history, it's history and writing and a lot more things. The reason I don't use it anymore is it was so teacher intensive and I just don't have the time for that anymore, um, especially for history. I just, I, I can't, I couldn't do it. There was just a lot of prep work. At least with the mystery of history, there wasn't really any prep work. I, I had to read the lesson to my kids which we actually enjoyed doing together, but there wasn't a lot of prep work, but I felt like with Tapestry of Grace, there's a lot of prep work. Phenomenal program. My daughter has very, very fond memories of doing Tapestry of Grace together, but very teacher intensive, but definitely a good option for the middle school and high school years. Um, for the elementary years, another history program that we really enjoyed was My Father's World. I loved this curriculum personally, because it was just open and go. So there was a season in my life where there I could do no prep work whatsoever. I still wanted to take time to teach my kids and to read them the science lesson um, and to do it all together, but I didn't have time for prep work. And so I switched over to my father's world. Absolutely loved that we could just, I could just open up that um, teacher's manual in the morning and I would know just what to do. Didn't have to do a lot of prep work or really any prep work at all. Our favorite, by far our favorite year in um, my father's world was their countries and cultures. Oh my goodness, my kids loved countries and cultures. You get like a little passport and you mark the first day that you start that particular learning about that particular country you mark that you're entering the country at that date and then the last day that you learn about that country is the day you're exiting the country and there's little flag stickers to put in the passports 
and it just was a fun, fun way to get my kids familiar, familiar with geography and the different countries and the cultures and the different people groups out there and um, to be praying for them as well, praying for the people around the world. So we absolutely love that. Um, if I never come back to my father's world again, I mean, I don't know if I will or not, because I, I'd love the, the um, program, but if I don't come back to it again, you know, to do their chronological history, I will probably still come back and use countries and cultures with my like second batch of kids, my younger ones. I will probably do it again with them because it was so fun. It was just like, it was so fun. We really, really enjoyed it. So those are all my favorites. Um, yeah, make sure you leave a comment with your favorites as well. And um, gosh, I don't think I have any other favorites. I'm trying to think. I don't really have any other favorites to share. So I hope this video is helpful. Make sure to subscribe so you'll be notified of new videos in the future. And thanks again for watching.